Today I'm going to be doing an unboxing of the Kinetic 1200 dry cell battery. So I picked this battery up because I'm going to be putting a system in the car as you've seen in my other videos. And I need something to kind of help with my power issue because I'm not going to be upgrading the alternator. So I picked this up. Uh, in previous installs and builds I've always used a Optima red top or gray top battery but they're like 220 to 280 dollars and I picked this 1200 up for I think 113 dollars on Amazon uh, I had the my very first system that I ever built I had some trio subs and had a kinetic 600 battery and it did really well but uh, it ended up uh, pretty much bloating like a fat pig whenever I put 3,000 watts through it. So, being that I'm running the RP2000 from SCAR, I picked up the 1200, which should be plenty to help me out. So, let's get to it. And I also just want to say that when I got this in the mail from FedEx, uh, it came three day shipping free on Amazon with Prime. It's the best they could do is three days. And this box is like straight out of China. Like something I bought off a wish. So I was kind of sketch about that. So some random piece of cardboard. Um, the packing tape. Uh, they threw in there. <laughs> Do you think of packing tape? That's kind of funny. Some plastic. Some bubble wrap. Some more bubble wrap. Alright, so now we get I would say it is definitely uh, heavier than the Optima battery that I usually run. Get rid of that piece of junk. And so now we have the right here. So what you're seeing is the Kinetic HC 1200 Blue 12 volt power cell advanced A and M. AGM. Not sure why I said AEM. Does come with a one year warranty. Now look, it's another box inside of a box inside of a box. I love boxes inside of boxes inside of boxes. Box number two. So here's our install guide. Ooh, and a sticker, which will never be used. Awesome. Some foam. So it does actually look like. So there's some hardware here. I'm guessing it's the top mount, uh, top post battery set. I actually, where are they at? So. I actually bought another top post battery set because this one did not say that it came with it. And being that I had never uh, bought one of the newer ones, I wasn't sure. But there's the bolts for the other one. And then there's, looks like there's probably the uh, spacers or something in this one. I'll open it up and find out. Uh, oh, okay, so here's your, it's actually kind of handy dandy, but these, <laughs> these definitely look used. Uh, they are beat up, like they've been wrenched on before, but it's positive and negative battery terminals. So I'm guessing they probably come with these from standard, and then you get the top post for when doing the remote battery, and there's the negative. So, the 
you'll have to bear with me here why open this up So it's actually a good thing because uh, these are just some bolts with a couple washers and lock nuts. I actually bought these, which are a lot better than using ring terminals. So yeah, it's actually pretty small. Um, it's it, it's a lot smaller than what I'm used to with the Optimus. But it's not bad. Alright, I'm back. And so what I'm going to go ahead and do, I'm going to go ahead and put these on. And so yeah, if you're going to if you're gonna pick one of these up and it doesn't specify, most likely on Amazon, that it doesn't come with the top post set, and you're going to be using this with ring terminals, uh, this is definitely something you're going to want to pick up, is your top post mount set. These are put in with uh, Allen keys, which I don't have, so that's fine. I'm not worried about it right now. But, yeah, it's pretty small, so it, it'd be good for like a smaller application. Like I said, it's nowhere near the size of an Optima. Uh, also, batteries are a couple inches wider and in length as well. But, also don't know how the quality is compared to an off of battery either. And again, this is the 1200 watt. I'm going to be running 2000 through it, but it should be fine, being that it's not going to be on its own. I've also got a, a, ba uh, oh, a battery relay isolator. I'm going to be installing. I don't have that. It hasn't come in yet. But I'm not going to do a video on that. There's videos all over the internet on isolators. And uh, I can't even remember which one I, I picked up. I can't even remember. So it doesn't matter. Anyway. Yeah. So definitely want to pick up a top, mo a top post. Uh, if not, you still got your old normal ones. Which I've always used in the past. I think even on my 600 I had these. And they're all right. You just, just got to pick up some some different ones. It kind of sucks, but that's just how it is. I would much rather have these, especially if you're just doing ring terminals for a power and a ground. And you're, I'm using zero gauge, so these will fit perfectly. So, for some comparison to size here, I don't really have much. So for size comparison because video just does just this there's my hand but this is also here's a uh, punko pop vinyl shameless plug no i wish um you can kind of see the difference in the size they're relatively the same height they are pretty much the exact same width so it's like six inches by like six and a half inches i think probably or six by six, six and a quarter. And then you can see it there pretty well. So yeah, it's it's not bad. Um there are some mounting straps here, uh, which you could use in pretty much any battery tie down, most likely. But that's pretty much it. This isn't a very entertaining unboxing so it's just a battery but could be somebody out there who wants to see it but if you're looking at this again uh, it's just going to come with your standard terminals which I've already said like three times but I'm just going to beat it into your brain and then so you're going to want to pick up these kinetic top, top post terminals which I think they were like eight dollars I think they're really cheap. They're worth the money. You may be able to pick up some cheaper. If not, it did come with these bolts with some washers on them, which you can use just fine. So I think that's pretty much going to conclude my review 
or unboxing, something to review. I'll do a review on it once it's all in the car and set up. Try to get some videos out of me installing it. Uh, and doing all that so you guys can see if you want to you do it. However, you want to stay tuned. You want to keep up with it. Keep watching what I'm doing. If you like what I'm doing, if you think I'm an idiot, leave it in the comments down below because I am an idiot. I'm new to this stuff. Uh, still getting weird talking to a camera to somebody who's not there. So, yeah, now I'm just rambling. Yeah, like, comment, subscribe if you want. Stay in touch. Do a bunch of weird things on this channel. Unboxings. May throw up some golf videos. Who knows? It's just going to be completely random at this point. And have a good day.